Being a successful business owner may seem like a dream job, but it takes a lot of work to make business work. Fifth graders at Johnsontown Road Elementary School took part in an interactive lesson in finance by creating their own businesses and production lines. It's perfect, exactly. So he would get a profit, and his definition is profit. We have the program here at Johnsontown Road Elementary School called Money Markets and Moguls and it's from our Council of, of Economic Education. Because I'm putting you all to work and you need your hands free with nothing in front of you. Um, we're working in partnership with them um, to present the program to our fifth grade students. How many of you have parents that have credit cards? Lots of you, okay. We're learning about uh, economics and money. Our students need to understand economics, money, saving it, spending it, the whole kit and caboodle. Um, they also need to understand giving back to the community. Two inches, two inches across. I was making the buns and we were flattening them out, uh, uh, measuring it and just making them the buns. We're going to get uh, each two and then they're going to get two. When students get to use all their modalities of learning, uh, reading, the, the body movement, um, hand, holding something in their hand that they know that they've made and can produce and sell. It uses all their senses. They will remember it and internalize it better. Like if I go to buy something that I want but I don't have the right amount of money then I wouldn't be able to buy it. Remember I told you about resources. One of you all had the definition for resources. Who has that definition? Productive resources, right. So there's productive resources and there's some human resources. When they experience the economics, the, the learning to make things, they're thinking about their future and what they might want to do in life, setting some higher goals.